Hi everybody, so we're working on a couple of things. The main thing is the Darwin's wind turbine. So we want to finish that wind turbine. Now, to do that, we've made the main structure to show how the main structure was built. We, of course, want to put a turbine in it. Now, the opening, remember, is that big. So we need a turbine about that size. And the first thing to do is to make a turbine and try it outside of the structure, see what happens, then put it inside of the structure and make sure that we get an improvement for it. Now, it doesn't really matter what that turbine is like as long as we use the same turbine. So, I'm going to use this. It is the uh, generator off the back of a bicycle. So what I need to do is fit some turbine blades onto here and stick it in the wind. Now, I've got two options on that. One, I could just make the turbine blades, and of course we've done that before using bits of pipe, so easy enough to do and refer to that video on how they were made. But we do have this thing, remember, uh, and we printed off Tom Stanton's air engine, which is right here waiting to be put together, but I was really impressed with how it went, and it has a huge build volume, so we can get a whole turbine blade printed in there and bolt it together. So that's what I'm actually doing. You can see that it's printing right there. It's quite a long print, so it's been running for a while. It will be finished in a few hours, and we'll see what those turbine blades look like. Bolt them onto here, stick them in the wind and see what kind of readings we get out of it. This is about 60% of the print finished. It's actually quite magical the way it just appears. And that's them printed. They certainly are an impressive height. And that's it all glued together. Now it's not very big, it's only about 55 centimeters across, but pretty impressive for what you get out of a 3D printer. Now you might notice the sh uh, edges are shiny. Now I printed it with the grain in that direction and of course you might think that the grain in that direction is not a good idea for a blade, you really want it in that direction and true enough you do. But I did it this way because I wanted to print it all in one go and what I've done is I've coated the surface with cyanoacrylic glue or crazy glue because I printed ABS and crazy glue is supposed to be brilliant in all its grades for bonding ABS so it's shiny because it's had a coat of uh, cyanoacrylic glue on it and that should help offset the fact that we've got the grain going in the wrong direction but put it together and in the back I've put a couple. Now that couple was of course part of the print, it was already there. So I put the couple in the back and originally we were going to put this on a bike dynamo but that was before I discovered this, which to be honest, I mean it's got to be the most perfect motor that could be as a generator that I've ever seen as a ready-made thing. It came out of an air conditioning unit and so it's sealed. It's a resin, cast in resin, it's a permanent DC brushless motor meant for harsh environmental conditions and the output is just phenomenal. Now I'll put the model number in the description should anybody look for one of these. But this turns out to be a great motor for this application as a generator. So I'm going to use this instead of the bike dynamo because I found it and it is such a beautiful motor. It's compact, it's got a high voltage output, it's completely sealed against the weather. What more could you want? If you've got air conditioning units that people are scrapping, this is the fan motor for them, so just dig that out. But like I said, I will put the uh, link in the bottom. And all we do really is pop our blade on there we're ready to go, and now we can put some wind on it. Okay, here is um, what is getting to be a usual setup for us. I've got the meter on, I've got this LED as the load, that's wired up, I've got a camera going for a bit of pipping pip, and I've got a fan blowing. The fan blows at four meters per second. Now, it's true we can't get an absolute figure from something like this, that is, we can't tell exactly what that is producing under any given condi conditions, but we can get a relative figure. That means we can get something from this that we can compare to something else. And of course, the destiny for this thing is to be in the Darwin wind turbine. We just want something to give us a ballpark of what it's doing and be able to compare when it's in the Darwin wind turbine. So let's turn the fan on and see what we get. You've got to admit, from such a little thing, that's actually quite awesome. Anyway, let's have a look at the amps. <laughs> 
So we got about 200 milliwatts out of it, more or less, and that's not at all unimpressive. But the main things I wanted to draw your attention to were the idea of coating ABS with crazy glue really seems to make these prints a hell of a lot stronger. And the other thing was this amazing little motor that I actually plucked out of an air conditioner and how good it is as a generator. So. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember, this thing is now destined for the Darwin turbine as a comparison. And thank you very much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe.